Hello Internet, my name is Ace and today we're going to be talking about corner vision, distortion and all these kind of perspective tricks that will just improve your images and make them look far more believable or more unbelievable and wild if that's the actual aim that you're looking for. So, the most important thing, well not the most important thing, but one important thing is a thing called the picture plane. Okay, so this screen that you're looking at now, this is a picture picture plane. We are aiming to create illusions and, and make it believe that what's beyond the picture frame is 3D. And that's the whole point of perspective. It's just a whole magic trick. So we've got the picture, blah, picture plane. Now, what is that? That is essentially what we're looking at. So to illustrate that a little bit better, let's... Let's kind of imagine this is a piece of glass that we're looking through. This is, this is you, by the way. You're looking very nice. This is you holding up this in front of your face. So this is essentially a piece of glass or a camera or something like that in front of your face. Now, if I just draw that from the side, just to make it a little bit more kind of believable, or not believable, just more obvious then this is what this looks like. This is you holding up a picture frame. And you can move that as far away as, as you like. As, and even even out of arm's reach, like it could be six feet away. It, it really doesn't matter. So this is just, we are looking at this picture frame. Or picture plane, sorry. Now... If we draw some eyes like this, and you have lovely big eyes and a nose, then this point here is the eye line. Now, for all intents and purposes, it, we are just going to say that this is the horizon line. In one point and two point perspective, it's generally the case that the eye line is the horizon line, but it can deviate, but just for simplicity's sake, let's just say that they are the same thing. Now, let's... You, you, you can move up and down. You can move this picture plane up and down, and the eye line is still going to be the horizon point. So, in fact, let's do that. Let's... No, you wouldn't be like that, would you? Let's make you crouch down a little bit. There we go. So, there you are. This yoga has been paying off for you. And we are holding the picture frame. So you can go as, as high or as low as you want, as long as it's, it's vertical and you're not you're not kind of tilting, you're not kind of looking down like this or, or back like that. So this is essentially what the picture plane is. Okay, and the eye line, sorry, or horizon line. So that's in there just like that. And what we're going to do now is we're going to talk about the center line. Okay, now this is the the center point right between your eyes. Okay, so right in here. We can't really illustrate on this side one. But this point right here, this is the center line. And it makes sense. It is... It's horizontally and vertically right in the center of, of where you're looking. If you're looking at this screen now, right in the center of where you're looking is the center line. You can be looking wherever you want, right in the center is going to be the center line. Now, when we're creating images, we can use that center line or we can get creative and move things around a little, which I'm going to discuss right at the end of this video. But for now, that's all we need to know. We need to know we've got a eye line and a center line. Okay, so the way to make things look correct in perspective is to do a work within a thing called the cone of vision. Now, if this is like a um, top top down view of you, and when you look out, you kind of look out like this, and things are kind of in this kind of cone shape, like this, and we can, distortion doesn't really exist in reality when we're looking because for things to appear really distorted, they need to be outside of our kind of vision. Now we actually 
can see a bit wider than that. But the way to draw this and to make sure that the cone of vision is is kind of stuck to is is very simple really we need to we have a point here this point is going to be our um our kind of station point this is exactly where where we stand now i don't ever draw with rulers because it kind of just takes the life out of things but just i'm just going to be drawing with them today just so you, Things are done as perfectly as possible, so you can actually really see how how things how things work. So this point here, this is us right here. This is right right bang smack in the middle of our eyes. So if we go up, and we're going to create an eye line somewhere. So let's take that ruler again. Let's flip that so it's at zero degrees, like that. And um, again, this this can be at any point down here i tend to go a little bit higher so you get a bigger circle which i'm going to show you in a second so let's create this line here so if we now were to ignore this part here ignore the our stationary point and create a piece of paper like this then start drawing in perspective let's draw just simple one point thing like that cut that off cube then this is this part here is is the eye line the horizon line and this is the center point just so you are with me now how to work out what will work in reality is in fact what i am going to do and you'll see why in a second i'm just going to lower that just a little bit because we need to draw upwards of here and i don't want it to go off the off the paper so our cone of vision is generally regarded as about 30 degrees. So if we have our point here, like this, this is obviously 90 degrees. Now, if we split that in thirds, then this is going to be 30 degrees from here. So all you re really need to know is have a uh, right angle and split that into into thirds and then come up from there now what i'll do is i will do that with my ruler and it'll probably gonna say yeah it'll be 60 on on the ruler but it doesn't matter so there's our point there and now we're just going to draw up now we're going to do exactly the same at the other side we're going to come 30 degrees and draw a line okay so the point at which these meet here and here we're going to create a circle from these. So the width of this is going to be the same all the way around as we create the circle. So let me just add this in here. Let me get to, what would that be? It'd be 90, wouldn't it? There we are. Where are we at? There we go. So we've got a perfect circle there. Don't worry that this is going off the off the page a little bit we can just kind of imagine the rest is there so let's draw this circle here and this will go up and round this circle is your cone of vision no it's not what am i talking about i didn't i forgot to adjust the size of it the circle needs to be at these points here of course like that, the intersect, intersecting points here and here. This is obviously the width of the circle. I don't know what I was thinking. This is your cone of vision right here. Ignore what I said earlier. So anything we draw within here is going to look look correct. It is, is going to not have distortion or anything like that. So we can test that out a little bit. Let's create... Even if we just do something in one point, then we'll do something in two point to illustrate it again. Let's drag that on there, this ruler, so it's on this point. Then let's come out. And again, don't do this stuff with a ruler because it's, it, I don't know, it just, it just, it's just not ever going to look kind of nice. It'll look, it'll look right and it'll look perfect but it won't look appealing. So let's draw a few boxes around the place like this. 
and then let's let's just do it with this line tool like that sorry that's not right in fact no let's let's go back to the ruler i like the ruler there we go it was already on the point i messed it up and then let's just draw some quick lines going back and create some cubes now this works with one point two point with three point perspective we have a very similar thing but i'm going to cover that in actual when we're talking about three point perspective but if you can kind of master this this idea and get used to the idea because as artists it's kind of a bit weird thinking like super technical so we're, we're constantly thinking with the right side of our brain and trying to make things creative and things but this stuff really just will help your your drawings and i'm saying this from like i say an artist point of view where i don't believe well i'm not saying we shouldn't ever use rulers but i'm saying i think in illustration uh my favorite things that are not done with rulers let, let me just let me just say that i feel like it looks a little dead but so the same with all of these rules everything that i teach you to do with perspective we want to think about the composition and the image first not the perspective so when we're drawing we kind of want to make some thumbnails and, and kind of get a nice appealing uh composition and image and then kind of cross-reference that with yourself to, to see if your your perspective is correct okay so let's just do the rest freehand so if we cut this off here and go across here then we can see the things that are outside the cone of vision like 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 here this this is quite just a, a an aggressive angle and we get a little bit of distortion now you can get away with distortion and not fully adhering to the the corner vision with one point perspective quite easily like if we look at any of them none of them look overly awful but the best the best images are in here where the corner vision really comes into its own is if we're talking about two point perspective so let me just draw a couple of we're just arbitrarily put, put in the um, the vanishing points. It, it, it's it's not really. It really doesn't matter where where they are at the moment. So we'll do one inside and we'll do one outside the current vision. Now let's do the width of that. Something like that. And this one here, let's go like that. Now we're going to go to the other point, which we'll put on the horizon lines somewhere around there. And let's join some dots up. Let's put this one going across here like this. This is coming out of the corner vision slightly, but don't worry at all about it. It's, it's not going to be important. So already, if if we take a look here at this last last one we just did, this it's already kind of looking a bit weird. So let me just grab the where was the line tool? There it was. The line tool and just drag a few lines up, like so. Again, we're just being really rough here. And and you should be as well. I mean, don't get too caught up on how how straight your lines are and, and everything like that because at the end of the day it the only thing that matters is how good your your image looks rather than how straight your lines are okay let's bring back that ruler let's join a couple of these up like this let's uh join them up let's grab this point again and yeah we've already got that in let's slap that in there and this in here sorry i'm trying to go as quick as i can but yeah like like i said all of these perspective things they're, they're very important for illustration but at the same time the the most important thing is actually creating great illustrations now i've messed up because i can't remember where that vanishing point was but 
what we shall do is we'll just estimate it. So that's going back here somewhere. So it's going to be around there. That's going obviously to that same point. So that's going to be something like that. Right, now, if we look at this one, this one looks somewhat natural. It looks, like I said, somewhat natural. But it was, it was very rough. I, sh I should have done them a little bit neater, but it doesn't matter. This this kind of feels like something tangible and, and real. Whereas this, over here, kind of feels a little skew whiff and, and off, which, again, they both are, because I just did them really quickly. And I was trying to talk at the same time, but... They are, they're just outside of the cone of vision, so it makes things a little bit weird. Now, if you want to make things look weird, do stuff outside of the cone of vision, and you'll get some great weird things going on. So the last thing I want to talk about is something called the... One minute, let me get... I'll get a big, a nice thick black line. Is something called... Oh, sorry. The framing so let's take this and we can move this around we can make it bigger and smaller so this here this frame this is the actual image that we're drawing okay so all of this in the background this could be infinite but this part here is our actual composition so if we want to make things look weird which we can't do this with a camera like if your camera needs to be set like this in the center of the the eye line and well not the eye line don't need to be in the center but the the center line has to be in the center whereas we can create really cool images by making that center line move away from the center so if we go back and look at the one point stuff the true one point perspective has to be that the center line is in the center of the image or else it's that's that's the only way we see one point really in in reality. So if we take the frame and we can put it here like that, we get a, a lot more of a dynamic kind of image that's a lot different to having it just in the center. And again, you can cr go wild and just have things just in the distorted areas. But if we take that, for example, as our image, this thing, ignore everything outside of this black box. If this is our image, then we have something we have something kind of interesting so let me just i've got i've got all this all messed up now there we go so if you kind of block this out a little bit and you're just focusing on what's inside here this is the frame and this is how like i say we get to create our dynamic and interesting images i hope what i've said today makes sense i appreciate it can seem like it's quite confusing but if you just start here draw your draw your vertical line your center line pick where you want your horizon line to be and then come 30 degrees from here and then where this point intersects create a circle of that size then you will have a cone of vision. If you draw an inside of that, it'll look great. If not, it's going to look more distorted. Then pick where you want your actual picture frame to be, and you can move that around to get new and interesting images. So you could draw this huge full world and then only use the the frame to come into a slight little bit of it, and you're going to get a different feeling than if you was creating that full, uh, having the image of that full world. So I hope this has been helpful. There's going to be more perspective tutorials coming up. There will be a link to the playlist in the description below. And I'm going to talk about one point perspective, two point perspective, three point perspective. We're going to talk about putting people in perspective. We're going to create, create backgrounds. We're going to create everything. So if you enjoyed this video, tickle the down below's down there, click on subscribe and click the like button. And if you want to, if you don't fully understand anything I've I've spoke about in this video, just leave a comment and I'll try and get back to you with a solution for your problems. Now, just remember, don't get too wound up with all these mathematics and thinking technical like this. It's drawing. Drawing should be fun. So we need to think.
Think about that first. Think about the image and then think about the perspective. So until next week, I shall see you later. Goodbye.